Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Luck of the Irish. Boy, do I feel lucky. Alright, so we're going to take our two fleets. And let's assess our trade power. We have 55% here right now. Because apparently these guys aren't protecting trade. So 55% without um, doing anything else. Without having any boats here. Which provides us with income of 10 gold. With the boats patrolling, we get 26. Let's see what happens if we split it up a bit. Let's um, let's do like split, split. We'll take 17 into Western Europe. Oh, I did it wrong. All right, split, split that way. I want the ones without the commander in Western Europe and the other ones without a commander in Bordeaux and the one with the commander in London so that was um, 26 now we're up to 27 33 so clearly having some ships in Western Europe is a good idea the people who are pulling in this direction are Portugal and Castile Portugal and Castile. Well, Castile, we never really got a chance to blow up their navy. We're not friends anymore. They are not embargoing us. We could embargo them. Might end up with a trade war. Should we rival them? They're like the main ones contesting our, our trade income. What's going on in Bordeaux? France, mostly, clearly. Let's build some... Some more marketplaces. And then after the marketplaces, the trade depot. Let's build some of those. Get our trade power up from buildings by a lot, if possible, and then that way we won't have to keep as many boats here. We have 87%. I feel like going over 75% is not worth it. So let's even split again. And then where, where can we get more money? There's about, say, 7 or 8 gold still available there. Seven gold here. I think Bordeaux. Uh, feels about the same, maybe better. I don't know, it's hard to say. But clearly the um, commander should be with the largest fleet, so we should do that. Last we were at 33. Nope, it actually went down. So maybe we lost too much trade power here? I do still think that the commander should be with the largest fleet. That just makes sense to me. But... I guess we have... Wait a minute. No, oh, he's not in charge of the darn fleet. You idiot. I said to get in charge of the fleet. In charge of the fleet. Protect trade in Bordeaux. 34. Okay. So it is slightly superior. We want to... Yeah, I think we're going to avoid going much beyond like 75-80% in a single node. And we'll keep on building up buildings now that uh, help us out. Marketplaces and stuff. Probably don't really need them up in this section, but we'll build them anyway. We have claims on England. Do we not? We still do. Good. Um, who else could we go to war with? We have the trade dispute on Portugal again. They're still allied with Castile, right? Aragon and Castile. 
So if we wanted to have a major battle against Castile and Portugal, we could do that right now. Let's see, Castile has 23 heavies. Portugal has 13. We have 9. But we have 50 light ships. Uh, they have 50 light ships. We have 69. Hmm. Being over the naval force limit is only costing us 0.9. It's not much. So what if we just threw on a few more heavies? We're making enough money, we could easily afford to do that. Okay, goods or admin tech, we'll take the admin tech. Admin, admin points, sorry, monarch points. So we're annexing our next guy, it's not going to go terribly fast. War exhaustion is really slowing it down, but war exhaustion is coming down on its own. It'll take about two years. Revolt risk we don't worry about. Sweden is calling a war. This is a war they have started. Denmark is allied with Bremen. Swedish conquest of Agder. I guess we accept. We're second, like a low-down partner, so we can't really do much. I don't think we need to do anything, actually. Except for blow up a fleet here or there. Which tops off our prestige. And I'm just going to keep on overbuilding our fleet until we get such a ridiculous navy that it's too expensive to build another one. And in the meantime, the other thing we can spend money on is more trade power in buildings. We also need manpower. We always we need everything. A workshop, goods production. This is why we took admin tech, or sorry, uh, economic ideas. Maybe we should hold off on building any more things till we get organized construction. We'll just keep on building heavy ships then. Or, here's an idea. We could just save up for a few years while we wait for add the next level, the next idea, and then build a bunch of um, manufactories. Lose admin power or national spy defense. Don't care. Rival of a threat. Make Austria like us again. That's not going to happen. Take Derby. Construct a grand fleet. Well, that's basically what we're doing now, so yes. To do that, we're going to have to make 11 more. We've got 3 in production, so 8 more heavies. That's going to put us at a lot. It'll put us at 95. 93. No. Yes, 93 out of 75. A little bit overbuilt. <laughs> But, why not? I mean, clearly we need more prestige since we're at 99, and more tradition since we're at 97. Clearly. Sweden, you really didn't need our help. Here, I'll let you negotiate on my behalf. You can give me stuff if you want. Thirty-five? Money's increasing. I'm assuming that we're still being embargoed by somebody. Yeah, Denmark. We're embargoing. We're only embargoed by Portugal. We might as well um, rival Portugal. We don't really need to rival Denmark anymore, but we've got them embargoed, so... They don't really have a lot of trade power anymore, do they? would probably make more sense to rival Castile and then embargo them because 
they have the most trade power here. Yep, we're not going to be friends with Castile anymore. We already decided a while ago that they're enemies. So we're going to first revoke the embargo of Denmark. We're going to then switch our rival from Denmark to Castile. As soon as our diplomat gets back, we're going to rival Castile. Or sorry, embargo Castile. They also haven't embargoed us, so it's going to give them a trade dispute. They might declare war on us. If they do that before I have a full-on navy, like the full heavies, ready, that'd be bad. We're still four tech levels from the next warship. Over the force limit starting to add up. just go straight to it. We'll just build eight more. Get up to 20. That'll put us really in a good spot. They'll still have more than we will, but um, they don't have naval ideas. And when you make enough money, force limits don't matter. And we are making a lot of money from trade now. 70.6% of our income comes from trade. Surprising, really. Little Irish nation. How much longer until our truce is up? Years. Cancelled our military access. We should also counter embargo Portugal until we are ready to declare war on them. That'll probably make us a little bit more money as well. 0.2 ducats more. Fantastic. Also, part of the reason why our income is down is that we are a little bit overextended, which decreases trade power abroad by 20%. So, like in a node like this, um, we have a big penalty, minus 20% from overextension. Like, we would have way more trade power. 20% more of 59, that's another 12. That's a lot. It adds up, man. I'm telling you. Almost to level 13 military tech, and England is probably almost to 14, because I hate them. But we can get this build cost thing down. I pretty much always take economic ideas just because of the organized construction. I just really like that makes it so much so much less expensive to build really really good um, like manufactories not bad Building the manufactories will give us more money, more production income, more trade income, and fix our manpower problem. They're just really, really good all around. And our income's about to go down as we really, really go over the force limit. So we've got our grand fleet. The rival of a threat. Make Austria like us. Protect against Portugal. 33 regiments. I don't think that that really fits what we're trying to accomplish. Claim Oxfordshire, on the other hand. That is something we can totally do. Twenty big old beautiful heavies. Okay, and we've got organized construction. And almost level 13. So, can we build the first manufactory? Build. Unique buildings, manufactories, farm estate. Costs 404 ducats. We have it. No, we don't. Not enough admin power. Well, that's fine. Next month.
be nice if we had better stuff to produce. But it is what it is. So we're making it in Meath first because Meath has the three base manpower compared to the 50 here. And when I say base three, I'm talking about it's 25 divided by the base. So um, when you like look at it in the ledger in the provinces list, I I'm sure we've talked about it before, but I'm just going to review it again. They consider manpower three. Meath base is 75, 75, 75, twos or 50s, etc. So we want to build them up in the places that have more manpower because then we get a bigger benefit from it. Also, we would consider wanting to do it where the trade goods are more valuable, but um, we have really crap trade goods no matter where we go. Trade. Trade goods. Base price. I mean, there's only a few that are really good, and we just don't have much. Tea is worth a lot at the moment. 37.6. It's just growing and growing. I love it. So we've got our first manufactory. That's what they're called, right? Yes. I'm not crazy. And we have our technology. Thank goodness. New cannons. Chambered demi-cannon. It's sick. Okay, and how many alliances do you still have? You've got Provence and Brabant. That's fine. So we just wait, and then we declare war on England again, and we just keep eating them, making more and more money. And in the meantime, we entertain ourselves by blowing up fleets in the Western Europe trade node. So I think what we're going to do soon is... Maybe wait for Castile to be in a... Uh, Castile or Portugal to be in a war that we don't want them in. Oh, they're already in a war with the uh, random people. Ayutatha. And Nepal. Isn't that, like, over here somewhere? Well, clearly they're distracted. We should totally declare war right now. Let's check. We have the second most, well, third most heavy ships. But we have way more lights. And they're really spread out because they've got all these colonies all over the place. We've also got to consider their little naval fleets, but um, I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, we could go to war with them. Wow. I guess we take inflation. I'm not going to lose 600 ducats. That's crazy. The more money you make, the more money you lose. But, um... I don't know. In order to win the battle without using our... We would have to use our light ships to help out. So we'd lose tons of trade income for a couple of years. We're talking like 30 ducats a month. That's 360 ducats a year for a couple of years. That's a lot of money. Royal marriage from you. We don't need it. You're being annexed. 632 colonist in Castile. Yikes. We'll just save our money and just keep on making manufactories, recovering manpower, that whole thing. And eating Europe. Or eating England. So. Got a new claim. Improved defenses in Lothian. We could use more, more uh, army tradition. This is really not the best place for this, but... Yeah, okay, we'll take that. It's forcing me to make some forts. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you soon.